Day two, confession scriptures. The next subject is prosperous life. And so this is one of my favorite scriptures. It's Philippians 4.19. And it says, And my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Okay. So for the first time, I like to look up words because, you know, you can expand your faith by looking up the words. And so I'd never looked this one up before until just the other day. And this is the Greek word, um, kreia. I don't know how you say it, kreia. And this means employment, affair, occasion, demand, requirement, destitution, business, lack, uh, necessary or necessity, need or needful, use and want. Okay, so that actually, it adds to the scripture a little bit. Okay, so I, I use this scripture pretty broadly anyway, but let's just um, fill in the blanks with some of this. And my God shall supply all your employment. Okay, well, I, I often do use this scripture to pray for jobs for people because, you know, we have a need for a job, we have a need to be employed, we have a need for finances. But it's interesting that it specifically calls out employment as one of the definitions of the word. So that actually strengthens um, our belief in using the scripture for praying for somebody to get a job, right? It's right there, employment. Okay, and, and my God shall supply all of your affairs. So we have affairs in life, not, not, um, not extramarital affairs, but we have affairs like um, we do things in life. We have things to do, and we have needs for those things to do. And those, the needs of those affairs in life shall be fulfilled the non-sinful type of affairs, <laughs> okay? Then occasions, you know, let's just say somebody's having a wedding. That, that is an occasion, right? Well, God will supply the needs for the occasions that come up in life, okay? We, we encounter various occasions or situations in life, and God will provide for our needs when those things arise, whatever they may be. We may have um, various demands or requirements that need to be fulfilled. Somebody may be in destitution, you know, um, maybe they have lack, maybe they don't have a job, maybe they don't have food or clothes or something like that. So that would be destitution and God shall supply all of those needs and they, he shall fulfill the destitution so that they are no longer destitute. Uh, um, so anyway, so you get the idea. Um, so I think sometimes it helps when we go look up the definitions of the words. All right, so here you can make a confession. And again, you could think about what are the things that you have need of at this moment, what are the things that people that you're working with may have need of, and then you can put them in your in your prayer list. Okay, so let's just make a list here. Okay, so let's see, at the orphanage in Uganda, there's a problem with the electricity, and the electricity has, has been going in and out, so we need to pray about electricity for the orphanage. Okay, then there are many people right now without um, that need that need to have their employment restored because of various COVID-related things. Um, so anyway, so you can make your list, right? So let's just confess the scripture. So I declare in Jesus' name that my God supplies all of my needs at all times, always according to His riches in glory by Christ Jesus. I declare that my needs are always fulfilled with an abundance left over for an abundance of good work. I declare in the name of Jesus that my finances are blessed and prosperous. I declare in Jesus' name that all of my financial obligations are always fulfilled with a super abundance left over for a super abundance of good work. I declare in Jesus' name that my God supplies all of my needs at all times always without fail. Therefore, me and my household, me and my family, we will never lack, but we will always have all of our needs continuously fulfilled, never lacking anything, and always in a position to provide help to others, and so be it in Jesus' name. And Father, I thank you. Thank you that you do supply all of our needs. Thank you for supplying our needs with an abundance left over so that we are able to help others, which is a delight to our soul, which is also your goodwill, which is also a help for another person. So we thank you for that. We thank you 
that you are interested in helping the children at the orphanage. So right now, in Jesus' name, Satan, we command you to remove your hand from the electricity at the orphanage. This instability of electricity, be gone from the orphanage and be gone now. And in Jesus' name, just perfect, stable, electric um, function, uh, electric supply, electricity, be restored to the orphanage, and so be it in Jesus' name. And we declare that the electricity shall be stable, the lights shall always stay on, the food in the refrigerator shall stay cold, and there shall be no gap in coverage, and so be it in Jesus' name. And we thank you, Father, that it is your goodwill that all the people who have suffered harm as a result of all these COVID situations and mandates and related things, we thank you that your goodwill is that all of their needs be fulfilled. So we say in Jesus' name, every single person in this country and in this earth who has lost their job, who has suffered financial harm related to COVID and mandates and various things, we say um, new, good, and godly jobs and forms of income come forth and be a blessing to these people. In the name of Jesus, all those who have suffered financial loss, that loss be restored, all financial obligations be fulfilled, and so be it in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, all those who have lost businesses due to you know mandates and closures and things like that, we say, um, businesses be restored, livelihood be restored, and all needs of those who have suffered at the hand of COVID and various related mandates and such, all needs of all of these people be fulfilled in Jesus' name. Amen. So be it.